Hi everyone. For those of you that have not met me at the Newport or Annapolis boat shows working with Daryl, uh, my name is Scott. Daryl and I created the resale program not long ago in order to take boats back on trade. And this happens to be one of the first ones. It is 439 number five named Zale up in Norfolk, Virginia. I flew up here this morning to put eyes on it and take a quick video which we'll upload for you guys to see pretty soon. So uh, let me turn the camera around and begin. Zale is a 2021 Island Packet 439 that is factory certified and also comes with a factory warranty. Zale was highly optioned when built new just two years ago with many of those options being upgraded. This will be a fairly brief video tour, but for a full spec and option sheet, please see the listing or visit us online. On the exterior, we do have the fiberglass arch and davit system, as well as the hard dodger. The Bimini does have a full enclosure with eyes and glass and connector. This particular boat does have the gray stone hull with the off-white deck. This has become a very popular color combination. The Seldine anodized mast and boom, along with the solid vang. All three sails, the 95% working jib, the 170 reacher, as well as the traditional main, have all been upgraded to the quantum fusion membrane sails. You got the four spar whisker pole, the Ray Marine radar up top. Tigris windlass, as well as the two anchor setup. The primary being a 95 pound Mantis, and the secondary is a 64 pound stainless steel Ultra. We also have a raw water wash down for cleaning the chain and anchor as you bring it in. Now, looking aft, there's a good profile of that Dodger. Affords a lot of protection from bad weather. We got the stack pack along with the lazy jacks. And this red line leads to a boom brake, which helps prevent accidental jives. On top of the Dodger, we have mounted three flexible solar panels, which are very low profile, as you can see and also stay out of the way. Also have two hatches on top to allow good ventilation. Now moving into the cockpit. It does include a full set of cockpit cushions. And I got the Lumar folding wheel, as well as the Ray Marine. MFD and autopilot control, as well as the bow thruster controls. So both primary winches are two speed electric Harkin. And this particular boat also has two Harkin electric cabin top winches, which are also two speed. All the lines do lead aft for ease of shorthanded sailing as well as safety. Here's a good view of the Dodger and also the visibility through. One of the first things you'll notice when coming below is just how bright and open it feels. That's due in part to the light maple interior, as well as the off-white IGU and headliner. The Corian countertops with the white undermount sink, microwave, as well as the propane stove and oven. 
refrigerator and freezer drawer. And this utility room to aft has been a game changer with these new next generation island packets. Plenty of room for equipment and storage. Got the washer and vent to dryer combo, as well as additional freezer. Spectra water maker mounted on top of the cabinet allows ease of accessibility. This particular boat does have 1200 amp hours of lithium, so you won't be needing this 6KW Northern Lights generator as often, but certainly nice to have and it's very accessible for maintenance. Now the oil change system for both the generator and engine, as well as the dual ray core setup. Very accessible. Also accessing the engine from the rear, very easy, as well as the sides. And to get to the front of the engine, these stairs lift up and are held up on two gas struts to stay out of the way. Moving to the aft cabin, Got a hanging locker and cabinet, as well as shelf storage. There are the cockpit cushions, as well as the eyes and glass enclosure. And coming around, the second head. Very clean look with that off-white IGU and headliner. Moving into the salon. This particular setup is the set T to starboard with the two captain's chairs. It's becoming a very popular option. Most boats going out have this particular setup now. And behind the set T, we do have the Victron converter charger with ample storage below. The flat panel TV mounted on bulkhead as well as the Fold down salon table, which allows for storage of wine glasses and wine bottles behind that table. This particular boat does have three zone reverse cycle AC and heat, two of which are run on 12 volt, so you can run it off the lithium ion battery. A very clean panel with the Raymarine MFD, the Fusion stereo. ICOM radio. On this side we have the Victron display as well as the tank monitoring display and Iridium Go. And behind these chairs we do have the safe hidden and out of the way. And those Sapelian light maple sole really does look good. Now we have the four-way adjustable captain's chairs as well as the footstool. Now moving forward into the main cabin we do have the offset modified queen which lifts up and allows for plenty of storage beneath. The hanging locker as well as flat panel TV mounted on the bulkhead. The forward head with the white fishbowl sink. Electric toilets. We did design this shower to have a wet locker which is vented and also drains into the bilge. Great place to store bow weather gear or dive equipment. It lets everything dry out nicely.
do have hanging locker and cabinet and shelf storage. All of these doors do have latches at the bottom to prevent them from shutting while underway. And we'll take a step back here and get a good view of the stateroom. Now looking aft, back through the salon, you can see just how spacious and open that is. Also a lot of natural light. Well, everyone, thanks for taking the tour with me. Visit us online for the full listing with complete specs. Or reach out to either Daryl or myself with any questions. And to schedule a time to see Zale in person here in St. Petersburg, Florida. Take care.